In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can change an app's logo to anything you want. This will only work if that was not gotten from Microsoft Store or something like that. It must have been gotten from the web page. So, you want to make your apps look cool, special, and sick awesome. Like these down here. I'm going to show you how to change Skype's logo. Now, this will not work if you got the app from the Microsoft Store. It will only work if you got this app from the web. I had to uninstall this uh, Skype because I got it from the Microsoft Store and I had to uninstall it and install it in the web browser. Same for Spotify. I had it installed through the uh, Microsoft Store. So I had to uninstall and redo it. And you guys will never guess, this is OBS Studios. I changed it. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's what I record with, by the way, if you're wanting to record. All right, so, and so I've changed a whole bunch of stuff, like Origin, changed that, Steam. I tried making my own logo. didn't really work because I had an idea, but I did, the symbol's not big enough, and you can't really tell what the letters say. And then I have changed, like, Audacity's, OBS, and that's, like, just about it. But it's really cool, really cool. And you can literally customize this to whatever you want. So to change it, it has to be an ICO file. So you can go, you can look for, like, do... Uh, if I wanted it for Skype, I could do like Skype ICO file or ICO. That's probably better. So I, and you can go in here. Now the likelihood of them actually being ICOs is not very likely. So the easiest way to do this is this website. Uh, all the websites I use in this video will be in the description. So this website, you can go and you can type in literally whatever you want. So I want Skype. So I'll just put Skype in. And and it comes with a whole bunch of things. So right here it'll tell you what kind how you can download it. So it is an ICNS, ICO, SVG, and PNG. That's all the different ways you can download it. Now we have to have an ICO, PNG, or a JPEG. But I don't really like any of these and I have one of my own. So you could do it from here and if you do get a png i'll show you right now how you can convert it into an ico so you can go to the this website right here okay so i want this photo so here is the photo um that i want to convert so you're going to do that you're going to press upload it'll take it a little and so this had a background to it but i quickly cropped it out it's really garbage and you can also, like, crop it if you want, but, I mean, I don't really need to crop it. Anyways, so, you, then you come down here and decide what you want. So, you can come in here, you can change it to, like, whatever you want, but we need the ICO for Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, and XP, which will work for literally anything, uh, actually. Now, you're going to come down here, and you're just going to click Convert to ICO. And it'll, a thing will pop up down here, it says Download Your Icon and you're going to click that and it'll come up right here and you just press save or save as i'm just going to save it and then it should be in there so now the next step to this is you're going to go to your thing and you're going to type in the name of that app now again it cannot be from the microsoft store or this will not work it has to be downloaded from like the web page or whatever or web page so if i put skype in you're going to right click and you're going to do open file location it is going to pop up with this. Now, it is going to be a shortcut because that is how it's on your computer. So, you're going to right-click it, go down to Properties. You're going to go Change Icon. And so, here's the icon, and you can it tells you where it is. Um, so, and then you're going to come in here and go to the place you saved the icon. See, it says Skype1, whatever, whatever, dot ICO. So, that's my ICO. If it is just a JPEG or a PNG, something that won't work, it will not show up on the list. So if it doesn't show up on the list, then you don't actually have it. So you're going to click that, press OK. You need to press Apply before you press OK. Then you're going to press OK. And you just have to, so if you have it, um, if you have it on your taskbar or in here or something, you're going to have to uh, un unclip it. So unpin from taskbar. Then you're going to need to open it via the uh the thing and as you can see it's it right there 
So then you can pin it using that, and it should always stay that way. Now, if you ever want to change it again, it's very easy. You just do the same thing. So you can literally take any photo you want and convert it to an ICO and make it to your thing. So I could literally get a picture of a dog and make that my Edge uh, logo, which I don't really know why you would do that, but you literally can do whatever you want. So, yeah, it's really straightforward, really simple, um, really fun. And I, what I do suggest, because there's not a lot of options in here. Like, there's a lot of options, but there's not a ton of cool options in here. So, what I suggest you do, uh, register on here, make some freaking awesome stuff, and then upload it to here on your account, and then put the link of what you made that's in here, put it in the comment section. I'll check it out, maybe try it. And if I like it, I'll let you know. I'll give you a heart on your comment. And I so I really suggest you do that because it's really cool. Let me know in the comment section what you guys are like wanting to learn. Is there something that you guys are wanting to learn or you think I know that everybody else might not know?